the morning i could not get up from my bed because my alarm didn't ring and i woke up only after the sunlight from my window fell on me then i got ready for my school after reaching my bus stop i could not identify whether it's my bus by taking help from others somehow i reached the school i thought to inform my parents but again i failed to do this but what is missing why is this happening to me let's go back and check there were no numbers on my clock bus was without numbers and also there were no numbers on my phone everything messed up in the absence of numbers friends so you see without numbers we can't even manage a single day of our life it would be hard to tell our age height weight or the score in our exam etc now the main question is where do these numbers come from what is the history behind it who invented them so to answer these questions we must travel back in time thousands of years ago there were neither clocks nor calendars to keep track of time the sun and moon were used to identify whether it's morning 10 or evening 5 People at that time used to carve tally marks to represent the passing time. These tally marks may have been also used for counting number of days or keeping records of quantities such as of animals. They were also known to be using fingers, sticks, rocks or stones to count the things. But these methods couldn't work for the bigger values. Centuries later, barter system was started. where people started exchanging things and that is when they realized the need for numbers the invention of numbers was not a linear process some cultures developed number system independent from each other or they tried to improve on an old system when it did not meet their needs and it is also said that later when they started traveling from one place to another for business they could not deal properly because their number system were different from each other so finally they must have decided to stick to the current number system that we are using which is easy to understand and universally accepted by everyone today we represent these numbers on a line which are called natural numbers we call them natural maybe because they came naturally when we started to learn counting set of natural numbers are denoted by the letter n and by this set we are now able to say that there are 5 birds 7 cars or say 6 apples but suppose there are no birds no cars or no apples then how will you denote it it's not possible right so here comes the need of a number called zero zero was invented in india and is used to represent nothingness you can check out our exciting session completely dedicated to this amazing number now when zero was introduced we got a new set of numbers which includes zero and set of natural numbers and this whole new set is again named as whole numbers denoted by the letter w they are called whole in the sense that it's the number of complete object now apart from these we also have negative numbers which are less than 0 like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on they are used to show temperature below 0 degrees or when you spend more money than you have in your bank account it shows up as a negative number which also means that your account is overdrawn friends the numbers we can see on this number line are collectively called integers so positive numbers are called positive integers and negative ones are called negative integers again you must be thinking what the meaning of the word integer is and where it come from So let me tell you after natural numbers and zero negative numbers must have come into the picture 
so people thought there must be a name for this new set which was eventually named as integers and the set of integers is denoted by the letter z because zalen is a word in german which means numbers so do you think these are the only numbers in the universe no let's take an example suppose you have a watermelon and divided into two equal parts and you ate one part of it can you represent how much watermelon you had by using these numbers it's not possible by using these numbers right so here comes the need of a different kind of number to represent half since half means one out of the two equal parts we write half as 1 upon 2 also known as fraction so friends such fractional numbers are called rational numbers because they are ratio of integers let's now zoom 0 to 1 unit path between 0 and 1 we have number half exactly in the middle then between 0 and half we have 1 by 4 then 1 by 8 and like this there are many numbers between 0 and 1 which we even can't count and same will happen between 1 and 2 2 and 3 minus 1 and 0 and so on and therefore we conclude that there are infinite rational numbers on this line let me also tell you we can also represent the rational numbers in this way one in which the digit stops at certain point and in second some digits keep go on repeating forever set of rational numbers are denoted by the letter q now why q well here q stands for quotient which is the result obtained when we divide a number by another number so let me ask you all a question can an integer be a rational number Yes every integer is rational number because they can be written as having denominator 1 so friends i can now say that every number we learned till now comes into the set of rational numbers right apart from rational numbers is there any number which we have left on this number line ones that cannot be written as the ratio of two integers or do such numbers exist whose decimal expansion never stops or doesn't follow any pattern there are indeed such numbers examples of such numbers are root 2 root 3 root 5 and so on and if we see its decimal form it's never ending and also their digits never repeats these numbers are different from rational numbers and so they are named as irrational numbers set of irrational numbers are denoted by the letter i like rational numbers there are infinitely many irrational numbers too but the main question is where do we use such numbers because we never say that we have root 3 apple or root 2 cars so let us suppose that window of a house is at 3 unit height and you are standing 3 units away on the ground So here the length of the ladder will be an irrational number. I hope you all are getting me. So is every square root number an irrational number? No. Root 4, root 9, root 16, they are not irrational number. In fact, they are rational. Therefore we conclude that on this line we have only two types of numbers. rational and irrational numbers and these are together called real numbers so every point on this line is a real number now they are called real because we can relate these numbers to our day to day life so friends here we stop this session but be with us to watch our next session where we'll learn something new and more about real numbers You may click the like button if you like this session or you can comment us and yes do share this video to your friends